We are here today to celebrate with our Big Cajun 2 facility on them achieving VPP star status, which is one of the highest recognitions from OSHA, recognizing the safety culture here at BC2. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you, this has been a long day coming for most of us at BC2. Most have been here about 30 years. Uh, we also celebrating this year our uh, 30 year anniversary of BC2 coming in, in existence, becoming commercial. So, this is the day we're celebrating that also. So, I just want to welcome everyone here to come in with us to celebrate with us. Uh, I think it's a joyful day. For most of the employees here, I'll talk to you for a minute. This is something we worked for for a long time. We started. Uh, about four years ago, somewhere around a point to where we didn't know where VPP was. We went through a journey of just trying to get to know each other, trying to get to understand it, and we sent people out different places to learn about it. And then we came together as a team. And what I mean by a team is VPP starts from the ground up. And I want to say thank you to all the employees of BC2, all the workers that work here at BC2, because we're all one team, one family, and we made it. The biggest thing I want to tell you is BVP is supported from the top down, and we've had a great leadership team that supports safety. And I want to tell you this much, and all you do know this, and you hear it all the time, is sometimes they tell you, say, it's easy to get it, but it's hard to keep it. But I'm going to tell the leadership and everybody here, we plan on keeping BVP at BC2. <laughs> I get the letters out, right? <laughs> We already started that process because we know each and every year you got to do better than the year before. And we already laid out some ground things to do and some activities to keep on pushing us. And we push each other. And that's the best part about it. I'm not going to stay here and keep talking. I'm going to let all these good speakers behind me talk because I'm not a very good speaker. But I just want to tell you guys I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of the site and everything you've done. And I'm proud of the leadership that you taught me on how to be a safety-minded plant manager. Thank you. My name is Jennifer Vosberg. I have the pleasure of being the president of Louisiana Generating and a senior vice president with NRG and a native local resident of New Roads. Um, I'm very proud to be here today to, to share the celebration with so many of you. I mean, you're our, our neighbors, our partners, our friends, our family. And looking around the room, we mean that literally our family for a lot of, lot of instances. Um, you know, when we started planning this celebration, we knew without a doubt that our co-ops had to be here. Um, you know, 30 years ago, y'all were here when this plant was begun. And what y'all did for us was to build and set the foundation upon which BC2 still stands. So I'd like to, to welcome our co-op customers today um, and introduce to you uh, Slimco, Borgard Electric, Concordia Electric, uh, let's see, Jeff Davis, I believe was supposed to be here. Sleeka, Washington St. Tammany, and Point Capi Electric. If y'all could please stand and get the recognition. We are very proud to consider y'all our partners and to be able to continue to serve you and your members power produced right here in New Rose from Big Cajun 2. We also welcome our elected officials today. Um, so many of y'all have been with us for so long and this continued support. But I'd like to ask that, you know, uh, you know, everybody who's here from Sheriff Torres, the Point Capi police jury members, the Morganza mayor and council members, the sheriff and members from the sheriff's office, Mayor Myers, um, Jimmy Lauren, our parish assessor, everybody who is here from the elected officials, you know, for the, so long, whenever we have needed anything, you have been here for us. And we, you know, thank you for that continued support of both Big Cajun 2, our plants and our company look forward to working with you in the future and that knowing that we'll have your support in the future is very important for us and for the employees of Big Cajun too. So if you could please stand and be recognized. Thank you. We also have with us former Congressman Charlie Malanson. Mr. Malanson, if you would please stand. You know, it, NRG and Big Cajun too, we, we try to be the best neighbor that we can to this community. And you know, there's so much that, that we, we do that you hear about, and there's a lot of things that you don't hear about as well. Um, you know, this Friday, we're going to be with the Mayor Myers on dedicating the new NRG field at Community Park. And it's a, it's a project that we're very proud of, and it gets a lot of press on it. Um, we do a larger project every year with our Christmas an annual Christmas basket. 
But what I want to also share with y'all is what our employees do day in and day out. You know, they are a part of the fiber of this community, most of them living right here in Point Capi. And, and it's those smaller projects and, and things that they do to give back that make me even extra proud. Um, just one quick example, you know, in the, in the last week, one of our employees, Connie Carrier, who, who lives here in New Roads, won an award from NRG. And with that came a monetary gift card prize. And Connie being Connie, one of the, the things that she did was very quietly send an email back saying, how is this coming? Because I'd like to be able to donate this prize to charity. And she didn't do it in a broad, she in a very quiet way, but that is what the Big Cajun 2 and the New Roads employees are all about. They constantly give back to the community their time and their resources. And for that, I say thank you to y'all as well. So we're here today to celebrate Big Cajun 2, the achievement that they have success, to join with them in celebrating. But while you're here, you know, take the opportunity to get to know our employees, our management team, learn a little bit more about what we do. Now, I'm, I'm very proud of our employees of what they've accomplished with the safety award and the fact that our entire senior management team is here today. Um, I, I think that says a lot. And we, we thank the senior management team, David and Mauricio, John, Kurt, for being here and to show us the support that y'all have for, for this effort and putting safety first. And of course, I would be remiss if we did not recognize the Department of Labor and OSHA. Alex is here to represent um, them and as our partner in this process. So uh, thank you for your time. We'll have some good food later on, as we're also very famous for. But at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce our CEO of NRG, Mr. David Crane. So, well, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, there's, there's so many things that I could say, but recognizing that I stand between uh, myself and the food out there, I'm going to be, I'm going to be fairly brief. But I do want to do a few things just to shake things up. They actually give me some comments to make, which, in my normal fashion, I'm going to ignore completely. But I do want to bring Gerald back up to the stage, okay, Gerald? And the reason I'm doing this is because I, Gerald's one of my favorite people in this whole company, and. Ger Gerald, you know, he's a pretty calm, relaxed, mellow guy, but he, he gets incredible stage fright. So this is my way of, uh, of, uh, of, of torturing Gerald. I'm going to make Gerald come stand next to me for, for the uh, of course. Well, I my, was but, out. Yeah, 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 you were out. That's right. Hey, Russ, what do you think of that? But uh, anyway, um, but uh, Gerald, you uh, runs the safety program here, right? Yes, sir. So this is a big day for you as, as well as it is for everybody, right? Absolutely. How about we give Gerald a round of applause here? Okay. Uh, now, don't think... Oh, yeah, let me go. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I felt him leaning out to go, so I just sort of had to grab that shoulder. Um, actually, I wanted to, you know, um, I've uh, been coming down here uh, more infrequently than I would like, but for the, uh, I think, the nine years I've worked at the company, and I remember one time when I came down here, someone said to me, you know, you're a rookie at this company until you've been here for 20 years or more, and I, I know there are a lot of you who've been here since the plant opened, which is now, what, 30 years, 28 years ago or something like that? So actually what I wanted to do is I want to have everyone who's been at the plant at least 25 years to stand up right now. Yeah. No, 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 don't. No, don't, no, 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 no. I know you guys are tired because you've been here for 25 years, but you got to stay up because, because, uh, I want to ask you all a question. Have you ever had a prouder moment at this plant than you have right now? Is this not the, the proudest moment in this plant's history? I just need a, a shaking of the heads affirmatively that, uh, anyway. Um, and now I'm going to have everyone who actually works at the plant, works on the site to, to all stand up right now. Everybody, everybody. And the reason I want you all to stand up because, as I know that, uh, that uh, Gerald would tell me, the VPP program is about everyone working together. So I think for all of us who are not standing now, because we don't actually work here, we all owe all of you a round of applause. So let's give a round of applause to the end. Okay, now you can sit down. Thank you all very much on that. Uh, I'm glad that Jennifer uh, thanked our uh, distinguished guests, our, our customers, and you know I think it's a sign of the 
I, th I think it's I think it's a sign of our connection with our customers that they've come uh, for, for this moment and so uh, we really appreciate you being here and Mr. Mayor thank you you know uh, our relationship with the community here is fantastic Congressman Melanson it's nice to see you again so uh, we have a lot of uh, distinguished guests here the one the one guest I'd actually mention by name uh, uh, is our representative from, uh, from OSHA, Alex Novus, uh, who's going to be saying a few words later. You know, I think it's important to recognize that, you know, I think in part of the political debate we have in the United States right now, there are some people who try and pit um, the people against our government as if our government's not trying to do what's right by the people. And I think the VPP program is run by OSHA designed to protect the safety for the welfare of all the people that work at the plant. It's a great example of a place where the government and the federal government is actually trying to help everybody. And so I want to make sure that we recognize that and, and uh, I'm sure we'll give you a, a round of applause when you come up, so thank you for that. The last thing I want to say before I let Gerald go, because I'll be sitting down at the same time as Gerald and that, I, I was actually uh, telling Jen for this story uh, in, the, in the car over here. I was, I was thinking back to when I first started uh, at NRG, I think nine years ago, actually in December. And uh, a, a senior management team, the senior management team that existed at the time came together, you know, and I think it was my first or second day um, to talk uh, to me and to brief me on what was going on. And, you know, the company was still in Chapter 11 bankruptcy at the time. And to say that the anxiety level from the senior management team and meeting the new CEO was high would be an understatement. I mean, people were very nervous. They were, they were, no one really wanted to say anything. And there was one person in the room who's just told it like it is. He told me what was good, what was bad. And afterwards, uh, I walked out of the room and uh, I was actually having trouble actually knowing what each person did at the company. So I wasn't sure what he actually did for the company. And I said, you know, you don't seem to be as uh, scared of me as everyone else around. What's, why is that? And he said to me, he goes, well, Mr. Crane, I run your biggest and most important power plant, and there ain't nothing you're going to do to me. I'm Matt Delaney. And so, uh, so I just wanted to say, you know, obviously Matt's not here, but somewhere up in the sky, Matt's looking down on this, and he's smiling. So, so congratulations to you all, and, uh, and uh, let's have a great day today. So. It's my pleasure to introduce our NRG's Chief Operating Officer, Mauricio Gutierrez. Thank you and good morning, everyone. Um, these are the days that we all look forward at NRG. And, uh, you, know, when, you know, when we get all talking points and David comes out and says, well, I'm not going to use any of them. You know, we know that we need to scratch all our you know, papers right on the fly. So, um, well, I mean, first of all, you know, I think, you know, David already alluded, you know, Safety is first, is the most important uh, of our core values. And uh, it is part of our DNA, uh, it's part of who we are. And um, you know, I just want to mention a couple of the highlights that Big Cajun has been able to accomplish. Um, they've had zero injuries in 2012. Almost three years. Uh, almost three years without a lost time incident. And um, you know, while safety is our you know, core uh, value, it is also an opportunity during this time to look at you know, the other core values that we have. And I want to focus on two, you know, the E that everybody knows that stands for exemplary leadership and T of teamwork. So you know, when we think about exemplary leadership, you know, it's basically the accomplishment of getting the BPP star. So, you know, and you know, the representative from OSHA can't answer this question, but you know, this is basically a, a recognition amongst all industrial facilities in the U.S. So anybody has any idea what is the percentage of facilities that receive this uh, award? Any guesses? It's 3% of all industrial facilities. So this is what, you know, leadership means in terms of, you know, our safety culture. Uh, the second piece is the teamwork and teamwork across not just NRG, but you know, our craft, our management, 
our labor, uh, our union labor, um, they all came together and made this, um, made this uh, possible. You know, our employees own the process, own the safety process here at NRG. You know, everybody not only has the authority, but the responsibility to make sure that they stop any unsafe acts. Uh, we owe it to each other and we owe it to our families. Um, they had the complete management support of achieving these, these milestone. Uh, not only the processes and the training, um, but um, you know, providing an open door policy you know, to any safety related issue you know, to the management team. And last, I want to thank our you know, local plant union leadership support for being part of this, you know, of this process, working with us, going to other site visits, um, not only at NRG but at other places, and uh, working together on the training process that allowed us to get uh, to, to, you know, to this place. So I want to thank and I want to congratulate everybody at Big Cajun for achieving this very important milestone. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the president of the Gulf Coast region, of which uh, South Central and Big Cajun is a part of, Mr. John Reagan. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, good morning, everyone. You know, it's terrible when uh, your, your great communications group gives you a speech that uh, is 34 font and double spaced and you still can't read it anymore. So forgive the glasses, but uh, you know, today is a, a big day for Big Cajun too. Um, I want to com uh, compliment all of you for a wonderful job. I had the opportunity in 2006 to take a plant through VPP. And like Abe, at the beginning of that process, I go, you know, what is VPP? What does this mean? But at the end of the process, I truly knew exactly what it means. And it's a safety culture. And it's bottoms up driven. OSHA, the OSHA audit team will sniff this out so fast that this is a top down approach. You can't fake it with OSHA on this program. And so it's a huge accomplishment. It's a ton of hard work to get this done. I can remember when they came in and found a cord to a power tool that was frayed and stopped the process. So the amount of work and the immensity of the process is phenomenal, but the safety culture that's created or was there and has always been there, that's what really counts because each of you all watch out for each other going forward. So I say congratulations. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a award that is truly uh, phenomenal to achieve as Mauricio said three percent you're 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 in the top of the top of the industrial sites out there in the US this award is very impressive but again there's a lot of work that's done and this extends outside the plant line the plant fence line um, VPP to a certain extent is really about developing partnerships across the industry uh, we had a lot of people within our NRG safety team work on this and we also had other people from outside our company, which is really uh, incredible that this is really a community effort with different industrial plants throughout the area. We had, um, if you look at page two on your presentation, there are other companies that helped us out on this. And I want to thank those companies for really helping guide Big Cajun, both at the beginning of the process when this was new to them, and I also want to thank all of the people from Limestone that mentored the process, project early on and from other companies that really helped along the way. Thank you so much for all that support. Big Cajun 2 is now paying it forward by helping other plants within the region. Across the Sabine River over in East Texas is our Cottonwood plant and they're getting very close to submitting their VPP application. And hopefully with the help of Abe and the rest of the team here, we can get our big Cajun One gas plant, Sterlington, and Bayou Cove also to look uh, to achieve this phenomenal award. So big Cajun, I applaud you for all your efforts and uh, appreciate the time, the effort, and the culture you've built with each other in achieving this award. Thank you. Thanks, John. And I'm glad you mentioned Big Cajun One. Bill Ellis, can you stand up? It's my understanding that our gas assets have gone 10 years without a recordable. I think that also deserves a round of applause. Thanks, Bill. 
At this time, I'd like to introduce Alex Novas with the U.S. Department of Labor and OSHA. Thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure to be here today, and uh, I don't get this privilege too often, uh, and I'm honored by it to present you all with your uh, plaque and flag, uh, making you all the newest star amongst the VPP sites across the United States. In Louisiana, only 108 was the last total I have uh, facilities have that uh, star status. Seems like a lot, but when you think about it, relatively speaking, all the industry in Louisiana, you're part of a select few, and we appreciate it. I'm sort of taking it back because back in my days in enforcement, uh, people didn't want to see me, and they couldn't wait to get rid of me. You know, now, now people are happy to see me, and they want me to hang around a while. So, uh, so there's been quite a lot of changes uh, that I've seen uh, in my years with OSHA, last uh, over 20 years. Um, on the flag, you'll see it says OSHA, management, and labor. This couldn't have been accomplished without that collaborative effort. Um, you know, it's been said that the two biggest lies ever told is when OSHA shows up to your workplace and says, I'm with the government, I'm here to help. And the employer says, oh, it's good to see you. <laughs> so, and somebody said, what about the third lie? And it's like an employee says, I didn't call him. So, <laughs> I think, you know, again, we've seen a lot of changes and we've sort of dispelled that uh, notion there of the the biggest lies ever told. And uh, we're happy um, and enthused, and I became more enthused as I began to talk with everyone and see the effort uh, that was put into it and the pride that is here. You're not only a reflection uh, of yourselves and a positive uh, reflection on the plant, but also the community, uh, because now you're ambassadors to safety and health. And uh, when somebody sees that shirt and says VPP, what is that? That's your opportunity to let them know where you work and what you believe in as far as safety and health goes. You know, on a daily basis, I don't know, on, uh, in government, it's, it's what we need to do, when we need to do it, but sometimes we, we forget why we're doing it. And we're doing it for people and the people sitting next to you. And most of all, um, I think uh, a thank you is going out from your families because they appreciate it too. They know that every day that uh, you're going to a safe workplace, uh, a productive workplace, and you're gonna go home in the same condition that you went to work. Um, so you can enjoy your family life and prepare for the future. So again, congratulations. I know it was a lot of hard work. On behalf of uh, Region 6 Regional Administrator John Hermanson, the Air Director Dorinda Fulce, um, and the local Baton Rouge OSHA area office, I congratulate you. Thanks. This is Mark Hancock, who is representing our local union here at BC2. Proud to have you here and was one of our big partners in, in making this happen. Thank you. One of our core values at NRG is safety first. We put safety above everything. For us, to making sure that we have a culture here at the plant where our employees go home at the end of the day in the same condition that they came to us. It's a duty that we owe to them and it's a duty we owe to their families as well to make sure that we put safety above everything. Receiving this award is so important because it shows that the employees and the management put safety above all things and have created a culture of safety that is recognized by OSHA and fellow industrial co companies throughout the state. The, the VPP award mean to these guys is just like the ice on a cake or something they worked for for years. And, and what I tell my guys is the, the flag and the, the award and everything, it's only the recognition saying that you achieved the goal. Because any without it, I, you know, I tell my employees, they have to achieve it because I've seen the character change, the culture change and everything. That's the way they start putting safety first and working together as a team and really just 
harnessing all the energy to just go out and do the right thing each and every day. It is a symbol of a partnership that we have between management and union working towards the same common goal of employee safety. Uh, it's, it's a whole total site effort and it took teamwork to achieve it. I enjoy my membership going home the same way they came into this plant, in one piece, safe, happy, go home to their families. STAR is the top, top level. Uh, once you've achieved STAR status, you're above and beyond everyone else as far as your safety and health, uh, adhering to the standards and going above and beyond what the regulations say to make the workplace safe. Back in the day, OSHA, when OSHA would come to your site, it, it was a scary moment because uh, we was, you worried about uh, them pointing things out that we're not up to code with. But now, again, uh, these guys want us to do as well as we want to do. So they out here uh, allowing us and teaching us how to maintain that high safety standard and, and, and in some cases exceed it. So any, any plant, any company out there should try to strive for that because um, that's what it's all about, safety first and production you know, follows. The award today is just the first star. Once you receive VPP star, it's going to be very important that we keep it. And that means maintaining that very high level of safety here at the plant. You know, we're very proud. So far this year, we've had no recordable incidents, which is keeping with the traditions we have at some of our other gas plants here in Louisiana who've had no recordable incidents in 10 years. This is a celebration to recognize the effort of our employees, working with our partners, to be able to achieve such a high level of, of recognition. And today's just a day to celebrate.